we will solve this today's lit code problem this is find common characters so this is an easy one let's see what the question is so we have given a string array words and we need to return an array of all characters that show up in all the strings within the words including duplicates right so we need to also include duplicates right you may return the answer in any order so we have given a string array words where we have given some words in an array and we need to find the common characters between all the uh, words which are present and if there are duplicate words are also present just uh, in this ll is present in all of the words so we need to return duplicates also right so if you see in this example in the words array here this b b is occurring in all no b is not b is not b is present in two of the words but not in roller right is e present no e is uh, e is present in bella label and roller both so we can take it l is present yes l is present in both of them again if there are two l right if there are two l is present yes there are two l present so we can take that and if a is present here a is present a is present but a is not present in roller so we can't take it right so we can't take it uh, same for in, the, in this labels we have taken all the elements and uh, from this and from roller r is different so we can't take r as well right so we just need to find the common characters between all the words right the first approach which uh, came into my mind that i will count all the characters right i will count all the characters in all the words and uh, and after that i will check that uh, which words has count of uh, of this whole array words right uh, the the first thought came in my mind that i will count all the characters from all the words and if the if any characters has a uh, has a counting equals to length of this word that would be the answer but the problem with that approach is <coughs> uh, it's a just a thought uh, but i got a i got a, <coughs> i also tell you the problem with that approach just a thought that i will <coughs> calculate uh, i will count all the i will count all the occurrences of all alphabets and all the words and i will check at last that which character is occurring in uh, occurring uh, the times of occurring equals to the length of words right equals to the length of words but what's the problem with approach it seems fine right if you see here it seems fine this double l double l double l so if uh, is divisible by length of words uh, it should be occurring at divisible by divisible by length of words right so if you see the 2l 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 it is 8l or uh, 6l and this is 3 so 3 is divided by 6 uh, 6 is divided by 3 so again e is also occurs three times so which is divided by 3 so what's the problem is this that if you see in this example words pool if you see in this this school this school this school o is occurring one two three four five times right? o is occurring five times so if you try to divide this with three if you try to divide it with this three it will it is not divisible right it is not divisible right but b is a common uh, but o is a common character between all the words right o is a common character between all the words so o need to be o should would be an answer for that so that's the uh, problem with this approach that we can't calculate all the words separately occurrences all the alphabets separately and uh, at last check all the characters occurrence that it is length divided divisible by length of words or not right that's the problem because we don't know not that uh, how many characters are occurring in one word or in all the three words right that's the problem here that's the problem right so how we will uh, solve this approach so this problem is uh, this approach is wrong right suppose this this approach is this approach would not work right would not will not work right so now 
if you think of any other approach uh, this is this approach is not working so if you see here in this beta if i count the characters word by word if i count characters word by word then can we do that let's see if i take a beta and count the its characters b it's occurring one time e one time l two times a one times right this is the count of characters of beta now in all other words in all other words if all these characters are present we can, we will only take that those characters right i am confirmed that for matching in all the words all the characters this should be the minimum requirement uh, if or any other characters are present in other words we will not take it other than this right if this is our present we will take this otherwise we don't take this right simply okay so we will we have seen in bela now we will see in label right we now we say in label okay in this label l is occurring two times right l is occurring two times a is occurring one times b is occurring one time e is occurring one time right so if you see l is occurring two times l is occurring two times a occur one time e occur one times b occurs one times b occurs one times and e occurs one times e occurs one times so it means i can definitely take all these characters so this is the till now we have got a common characters till now we have got a common characters b e double l a right so sure. now we will see the third word third word r is occurring two times o is occurring one time l is occurring two times e is occurring one time right if you see r is not present in any of the both of the characters both of the words right so we will neglect that we will don't take it o is occurring one time so o is not present in any of them l is occurring two times and l is present two times here two times here so we will take that okay and e is occurring one times which is present in both of the words so this is also okay right so words will be the final answer so answer would be l l e right so we can uh, here it is and you may return the answer in any order so we can return in this order also right so this is the this is this will this approach will be this uh, this approach would be uh, is fine we, uh, to calculate all the characters of words separately and match with them so how we will do that but how we'll implement that it seems to be easy but how will be how we will do that right so if you see we will just calculate the occurrences of first characters first word all the characters of first word which was this be this this was the this was the first occurrences of all the characters right now when we try to calculate second words characters what we will do we will we can take this characters this b characters e characters l characters and a characters like if <coughs> <coughs> sorry so if b is present one times and suppose here there is present label at double b right so if b is occurring two times here but in this bela b is occurring only one times and in this label b is occurring two times so do you th don't you think that we can only take one times b because is it is occurring uh, one time in bela only right because we need to find the common character so we will take only b one times so the thing is if we try to match this with this we will store we will store in my answer the minimum of <coughs> the minimum of this character and the this uh, this l label this label character let's take that as a temp the minimum of this character's occurrences and minimum of the current character's occurrences right so what would be it would be that would be that would be one right that would be stored one so this is how we will store all the characters including this uh, minimum between all of the characters the final answer the final occurrences is this answer right this is the this is the current which we are storing for the particular word but ultimately we need to make common characters that's what that would be minimum we will we will take the minimum of all the characters occurrences in all the words right that would be the stored in the final answer right so this would be the approach for this problem 
uh, let's try to implement this you will be better understand what i'm trying to tell right so let's try to implement this we just need to find the common characters so we will we need we need to take a final this final count this final count of all the characters all the characters are 26 right for first uh, uh, for fin a final count what i will take i will just take i will start from uh, i will take first first word for first word which is the here i will take first word for auto it words zero i will take first word which is occurring in this array and i will store all the count in this in this array right i will store all the counts in this right why i am doing that why i am doing that to why i am doing that to initialize this final count with some characters because this is the bare minimum characters which can be uh, this is the maximum uh, character occurrences which can be present right this is the maximum characters which can be present right otherwise and now i will start from the first characters now now uh, what i will do i will take another vector another array which is a temp count <clears throat> which is a temp count now i will store all the alphabet occurrences for every words for every words means it words i now this will store every words every words occurrences every words occurrences now what i will do i will match this temp count with this final count how will i match so the thing is that uh, this is the final count right if the if any characters just like this just like this b if any character is occurring, occurring greater than the uh, the previous occurrences this b it means we can't take all the b's we need to take just this one right and if you see l is less than uh, a is one a is one a is one but in this example r is uh, two right r is two and in this r is not occurring right so it means r is not occurring it means what does it mean it means r is zero r is zero so what i'm trying uh, trying to tell that i am just taking the minimum of occurrences of final count with this temp so if r is not present zero r is present two so if i take minimum of both so that will be zero right again in this case if b is two and b is one i am taking minimum so b is one right so ultimately our final account is storing all the characters which are present in all the words right so what we do we will just store we will just store what i will store i will iterate in this temp i will iterate in this temp which is 26 characters what i will store i will store this jth counter minimum of final count for all the characters right for all the characters temp count temp count and this is would be j first i have stored all the characters for a particular word then i am going again iterating in all the 26 alphabets and counting the minimum count which would be in the final or in the temp right either final count can be greater than because it's possible that word zero has more characters than this word but we need to take all the common characters so if words i has a uh, words i alphabet any alphabet has occurring less than this uh, starting point so i we will store that that was that that's why i have taken minimum right after that i need to return any strings not characters right so what i will take i will take an another string which is an answer now i will again iterate in this 26 alphabets and i will check the final count counting right this is the count which is can be present just like l is present two times so i need to insert l two times so for that okay this is the character if i if i uh, we need to uh, we need to insert a string so for that i need to take this s and this would be i plus a by i plus a this is the type casting to convert integer to characters and this would be convert to strings right and we will insert how many times i will insert this uh, string 
till the counting of final count right and that would be my final answer simply should that would be my final answer for that so and th this is the, just for uh, type casting with a string because ultimately i need to uh, return vector of a string so after that i would insert answer uh, this answer a string in my answer vector and we will return that so let's try to run this hope i have not uh, committed any compilation mistake yeah we have passed the sample case let's submit it yeah we have passed all the cases okay so uh, one thing more uh, that was in c++ that instead of this uh, using this we can also write it like this right instead of this we can also write it a string one character plus i plus a so what it is doing it is converting it is a character from integer to character and this is for type casting a string with taking one character so let's try to run this this will also work this is just for type casting yeah this will also work because this is just it is converting taking this character and this is the length of size of that character and this is converting to a string let's submit it also this is just for implementation purpose right so this is how we will solve this problem hope you uh, this helped thank you so much bye bye